have a very special surprise for Miss Tony. She's coming in in just a minute. Do you want to see what it is? Cookies! Don't tell. Shh. Hi, Tony. Hi, how are you doing? I have a really special treat for you. A special treat? What is it? It's a cookie! Oh my goodness, I love cookies. Did you know that cookies are my favorite treat? I knew they were your favorite. Oh my goodness, you know what? I have a friend and her favorite treats are cookies too. <gasps> Can we meet her? Yes, let's meet my friend. This is my friend Carly the Curve. <gasps> Do you see that cookie in her hand? She loves to eat cookies. Carly is the shape of a curve. Can you say that? Curve. Curve. You know, we could make this cookie into the shape of a curve. Let's try it. <gasps> so Carly is a curve. Do you think that we could make our bodies into curves? Let's try it. I could make a curve using my arms like this. Nice job. Curves can go both ways. I can make a curve with my body on this table. Do I look like a curve? And I can make a curve curving my fingers like this. You can find lots of curves in letters, but you can also find curves all around you. Let's take a look at some examples. This is a woman with a pregnant belly. <gasps> look, it looks like a curve. This is a fossil. Do you see that? Look at those teeth. They're in the shape of a curve. I have a crab here. Do you see? Look at this crab's claws. They are in the shape of a curve. Oh my heavens, look at this bug. Do you see the curves on this bug? These cookies are in the shape of curves just like Carly the Curve. So Carly is a curve and there are curves in our letters. We have a curve right here in the letter C. The letter C is shaped just like Carly. Now this one's a little tricky. Do you see the curve in our big R? The curve comes around like this. Let's take a look at S. S has two curves. Curve, curve, S. The letter E curves just like the letter C. Curve E. Take a look at this small curve on our small R. And a teeny tiny curve on the letter F. And a big curve like Carly the Curve on letter D. There's another big curve on the letter G. B has two curves. J has a little tiny curve up. And same with the small j. Look at the G's tail curving up. And a big curve on the letter P. And look at this curve on small r again. I had so much fun meeting Carly the Curve with you today. As you can see, Carly the Curve is very important because there are curves in lots of our letters. We have lots of fun curve activities for you to do at home, so make sure to check them out. We'll see you next time on My Preschool Place. Attention! Today we're talking about my favorite letter features. Soldier straight line. <sighs> Sleeping straight line. Soldier straight line always stands straight and tall like a soldier. Can you stand like a soldier? Ready? Attention! Nice job! What else stands straight and tall like a soldier? <gasps> hmm, I know. Trees in the forest stand straight and tall like a soldier. 
The lollipop stick on my lollipop stands straight and tall like a soldier. And the street signs even have a straight line like a soldier. Oh, a sleepy straight line is always laying down like me. Trees go straight up and down like a soldier straight line. But when there's a log laying down in the forest, that is a sleeping straight line. Can you think of anything else that is a sleeping straight line? This balance beam is also a sleeping straight line. You know what else is a sleeping straight line? A bridge. Now that we have learned about our soldier straight line, and oh, sleeping straight line, let's find them in our letters. Attention. Look, a sleeping straight line. A soldier straight line. A soldier straight line in B. A couple of sleeping straight lines in E. And a soldier straight line on E. I see two sleeping straight lines on big F and one on small F. A soldier straight line. A couple of sleeping straight lines. And soldier straight lines. Standing up tall. Here's a sleeping straight line. And two straight soldier lines. Straight lines. Sleeping, sleeping straight lines. Soldier, soldier straight lines. Let's test our skills with our straight lines. Are you ready? Ready. Soldier straight line. Sleeping straight line. Soldier straight line. Sleeping straight line. Soldier straight line. <sighs> Sleeping straight line. Attention. We had so much fun learning about straight lines with you today, soldier. Check out all of our fun activities to go along with these straight lines. See you next time at, at my preschool place. Spencer Circle is so round, is so round, is so round. Spencer Circle is so round, he's a circle. This is Spencer Circle. Spencer the Circle is one of our letter features. There are many letters with circles in them. Would you like to see some? Let's take a look. So Spencer Circle is shaped like a circle. Let's look at some letters that have circles in them. This is the letter O. It's one big circle. The letter B has a circle in it. And so does the letter Q. Big Q also has a circle in it. And small d. The letter P has one circle. There are circles all around us. Let's take a look at some circles in nature. Look at this log. There are circles on the top and the log is in the shape of a circle. Oh my goodness, this pizza is in the shape of a circle. And a clock. Do you have a clock on the wall? This clock is in the shape of a circle. Spencer the circle loves to roll, just like this ball. We had so much fun learning about Spencer's circle today. Yay! Make sure you check out the included activities. We have lots of fun things we can do with circles. We'll see you next time on My Preschool Place. You know what's so fun? I love hopping. Do you like to hop? Look, I have lots of little dots. 
I'm going to hop on the dots. I can hop with two feet or one foot. Can you hop on one foot? You know who else likes to hop? Miss Tony. Hop, 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 hop on the dots. Hop. Miss Megan, I met a new friend today. <gasps> What's her name? Her name is Dottie the Dot. Just like these dots. Dottie the Dot is one of our letter features. But do you know what? Dottie is a very unique letter feature. There are only two letters with dots on them. Look, small i and small j have a small dot at the top, just like Dotty the Dot. We are going to hop on the dots Yay! to see if we can find other things in nature that look like dots. Look at this flower. There are dots on the inside of the flower. This butterfly has dots on it. Look at the raindrops. Those are also dots. Look at the fireworks. Fireworks are also in the shape of a dot. These flowers are just starting to blossom. They also look like dots. Look at this pretty bird. It has dots all over it. I had so much fun learning with Dotty the Dot today. Remember, there are only two letters that have a dot on them, lowercase i and lowercase j. We'll see you next time on My Preschool Plays. Bye-bye. Panda the bear likes to slide. Panda the bear <laughs> likes to slide. Megan, do you know who else likes to slide? No, who? My friend Sylvie the Slant. <gasps> Sylvie the Slant? Sylvie the Slant likes to slide everywhere she goes, just like this panda. This is my friend Sylvie the Slant. <laughs> Sylvie is in the shape of a slanted line, just like this slide. Can you see how she slants? Sylvie the Slant slides everywhere she goes. Sylvie the Slant can slide different ways. She can slide this way or this way. Oh, I see. So Sylvie is a letter feature. She is, just like our other letter features. She's a very important feature because she's in a lot of our letters. Do you want to look at the letters with us and see if you can find a slanted line? Look at the letter A. It has two slanted lines. The letter K has a slant in and slant out. Letter M has a slanted line down and a slanted line up. One slanted line in our capital N. And one slanted line on our capital R. Two slanted lines going in and out on our big V. Look at W. W is all slanted lines. Did you know that slanted lines can cross like in an X? Slanted lines are also in the letter Y. We have one slanted line in the letter Z. So don't forget, Sylvie the slant likes to slide. We have slanted lines in many of our letters. Thanks for learning your letter features with us today. We'll see you next time on My Preschool Place. I wish some of my friends could play. None of my friends can play today. We can play? <laughs> well, hi, Tony. Who's this? This is my friend, Tina the Tunnel. Tina is a letter feature in the shape of a tunnel. Just like this tunnel. Yes. Tina can go this way or this way. Oh, can we see what she looks like in letters? Yes. There are four letters with Tina the tunnel in them. I see two tunnels in the letter M. 
there's one tunnel in lowercase h. Now this tunnel is in the letter N. And look, the letter U is an upside down tunnel. Just like I like to play in tunnels, we could probably find tunnels in other places. I can make a tunnel with my body. Can you do it with me? Look at my tunnel. Let's look at some other objects that use tunnels. <gasps> this rainbow is the shape of a tunnel. Look at these pictures. This is an archway in the shape of a tunnel and a bridge on a road that's in the shape of a tunnel. <gasps> I have another bridge with a railroad track that's the shape of a tunnel. You all know this. What is this? McDonald's has two tunnels on it. Well, I had so much fun meeting Tina the Tunnel today. Yay! There are a lot of fun activities for you to make your own tunnels at home. We'll see you next time on My Preschool Place. Bye-bye. Hey there, friends. If you liked this video, you can find hundreds more over at our website. Go to www.mypreschoolplace.com or you can follow the link below. There, you can access all of our videos and download worksheets and activities to go with them. We have hundreds of worksheets and activities to keep you happy, engaged, and learning at home. Can't wait to see you there.